Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we will discuss a major Ripple XRP update and why SEC tells judges to reconsider. But before we start the video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before leaving. Also, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we will upload a new video. For now, let's get back to the video straight away. The judge presiding over the SEC vs Ripple case, Judge Netburn, has now ruled in favor of Ripple in the latest court session. Judge Netburn granted Ripple's request for privileged SEC documents that determines the classification of XRP as securities. This development came from a scoop on Twitter where famous American journalist Charles Gasparino tweeted the news to his over 100,000 followers. The SEC vs Ripple lawsuit was initiated by the SEC in December 2020 where the watchdog cited Ripple's failure to register its XRP digital assets as securities before trading them in the crypto market. The favorable ruling counts as a minor win for the crypto giant. However, further developments served as a dampener for the mood when Judge Netburn approved the admittance of SEC official Bill Hinman's infamous speech on the classifications of securities as evidence in the ongoing case. Ripple aims to prove and subsequently argue that Hinman's speech showcased SEC bias that favors the firm's competitors like Ethereum. Hinman has however denied such claims, isolating his claims and stating that his comments were his own opinions and do not represent the SEC's stand nor were they made in an official capacity. SEC vs Ripple progress remains XRP positive. SEC vs Ripple news updates have continued to deliver XRP with much needed support. On Wednesday, updates on the SEC vs Ripple case had been XRP positive. The crypto markets reacted favorable to news of case judge Annalisa Torres granting a number of motions in favor of Ripple. Court documents detail the motions in which Ripple motions were granted and denied. XRP struck its current year high in response before succumbing to crypto market forces. Following the midweek news, Ripple filed a motion late last week to compel the SEC to share meeting notes from a November 2018 meeting between former SEC Acting Chairman Elad Roisman and Ripple's Brad Garlinghouse. The news delivered support on Saturday. The motion suggestions that disclosure of the meeting notes could favor Ripple's position in the case. Other lawsuits yet to gain traction. While the main area of focus is on the SEC vs Ripple case, there have been a number of conflict of interest claims against the SEC. Late last year, report on Empower Oversight filing a lawsuit against the SEC. Empower Oversight alleged that the former SEC officials were biased against Ripple Lab and XRP in favor of Ethereum. To date, SEC Chair Gensler continues to dodge questions on whether Ethereum is a security. Earlier this month, the SEC took another blow with lawyers representing non-US XRP investors demanding an investigation into the SEC's actions against Ripple Lab. As reported, the petition claimed that the SEC enforcement actions on cryptocurrencies have involved the appearance of improper ties and conflicts of interest among officials and should be investigated. Importantly, the petition also points out that petition attorney John Deaton has compiled evidence that SEC officials may have colluded with outside parties to regulate cryptocurrencies in line with their personal financial interests. Both actions against the SEC focus on the conflict of interest issue that remains a key component to the Ripple case. Following the motions from early last week, the SEC has until 17th of February to make public sealed documents that could shed more light on how the SEC viewed XRP back in 2012. Should the documents reveal that the SEC did not view XRP as a security, it could prove to be decisive. XRP Price Action XRP was up by 0.10% to $0.81 cents for the day ahead, XRP would need to avoid the days of $0.80 cents pivot to support a run at the first major resistance level at $0.86. Cents. XRP will likely face plenty of resistance at Saturday's high, $0.85. Cents. In the event of another breakout, XRP could test resistance at $0.90 cents before any pullback. The second major resistance level sits at 9,087 ten thousandths of a cent. A fall through the day's 80 cents pivot would bring the first major support level at 75 cents into play. Barring an extended sell-off, however, 
XRP should steer well clear of the day's major support levels. Over the near term, a move back through $1 levels would bring them November's high of $1.34 into view. Price action will hinge on SEC versus Ripple news updates. Will Ripple win the case, and if not, what will be the future of XRP? The question made by Nathan Smith on an XRP Army Live session hosted by Scott Powell and Crypto Erie is what all XRP holders ultimately want to know. In the meantime, attorney John Deaton was able to bring the voice of over 65,000 XRP holders to the court after being granted amicus curiae status, which is a sign that Judge Annalisa Torres wants to know the perspective from retail investors who the SEC officially aims to protect. The special guest on the live session was attorney Jeremy Hogan, who offered his view on many topics, including the SEC strategy, Ethereum, and his own origin story as an XRP influencer. There's no way of knowing. There are 100 points of evidence out there, and we've only seen 5 or 10. So far, the litigation has gone very well from Ripple's perspective, but I've only seen 5 pieces of real hard evidence," he said. Some documents will be unsealed on February 17th, including opinions from Ripple's legal counsel as to whether XRP was a security. As the notes become available to the public, legal experts out there will be much more able to ascertain the chances of a Ripple win. If at the time, Ripple executives learned that the risk of XRP being considered a security was close to certainty but still went through their unregistered securities offering, that is unlikely to garner much sympathy from the court. Either way, chances of an official legal win or loss are slim as most cases in the U.S. federal courts settle, including litigations involving Ripple Labs or the SEC. The most probable resolution is a settlement, and that hasn't changed since the beginning. SEC vs. Ripple Background Information The United States Financial Watchdog, the Securities and Exchange Commission, undertook enforcement action against crypto firm Ripple as it filed a lawsuit against the crypto giant and two of its executives on December 22, 2020. The lawsuit detailed the regulatory body's accusation that stated that the crypto firm traded $1.3 billion worth of XRP as securities without prior registration with the SEC. The crypto community was in an uproar immediately after SEC's announcement with Ripple and numerous concerned parties countering the SEC and its claims, citing SEC bias in its assessment of the digital assets class. The SEC's Arguments In the lawsuit filed in 2020, the SEC claimed that the XRP crypto token was classified as securities because it served as a capital avenue for Ripple's platforms and was used to fuel the platform's feature services that facilitated fund transfers among users. SEC claimed that Ripple's executives made a lot of money through the sales of the digital assets class. The SEC regulations already have previously established guidelines concerning securities. Securities must be registered with the regulatory body, with the stipulated portion of the securities information being made public. These regulations aim to combat fraud and protect investors' interest in the country. Ripple's Retort SEC's lawsuit against Ripple wasn't the first of its kind. The Commission is notorious for undertaking enforcement actions without prior clarification of the boundaries and guidelines to guide compliance actions. In past cases, before Ripple's lawsuit, when the SEC targets a crypto firm, said firms choose to settle through negotiations. However, in the case of Ripple, the crypto firm chose to fight the regulatory body head-on rather than comply with its unreasonable demands. Ripple claims that the SEC is biased in the applications of its securities definition of virtual currencies and assets. Should Ripple successfully prove their case against the Commission, the latter's authority will be greatly undermined, which will see the credibility of the lawsuit nosedive. Ripple particularly cited the free pass that the SEC afforded Ethereum as a bias indicator. Debunking the SEC's claims that Ethereum is a fully decentralized entity as bogus since the Commission is now on a warpath with XRP, which is essentially a mirror of Ether's operational principles. Lawyers in the community are confident of a win for the crypto firm. Famous crypto proponent and lawyer Jeremy Hogan stated earlier in January that the scales are tilting towards Ripple's win with the court case slated not to extend past April by experts in the community. 
a win for Ripple will open up a brand new era for the crypto industry globally and serve as a role model for crypto entities looking to fight unfair regulations and enforcement actions globally. What will happen to XRP? In case of a win, US crypto exchanges are likely to relist XRP and there's potential for a new dynamic in the market as XRP may become the only crypto asset with regulatory clarity in the jurisdiction. Garlinghouse and Ripple investors have signaled the intention of going public via IPO after the lawsuit. There's also a chance that the wider digital asset space will be saved from the SEC given the precedent-setting nature of the lawsuit. Finance Feeds has previously covered a potential Ripple lawsuit, but with the focus on the blockchain company, which could march on without XRP, according to CEO Brad Garlinghouse. In case of a loss, XRP itself is unlikely to be erased as Ripple has no control over much of the stock and an extremely high percentage of XRP holders are based abroad, where the SEC has no jurisdiction. The digital asset will remain delisted in US exchanges, but probably not in other countries, as no other regulators have shown signs of suing Ripple yet. Garlinghouse has previously mentioned the intention of moving its headquarters overseas in case of a loss. Singapore could be it. That's it for today, guys. We will see you next time. Until then.